Hi fragrance friends, I'm really, really excited to bring you my first impressions of Civet from Zoologist Perfumes. That is the sample that Victor sent me. Um, he also sent a lovely handwritten note, which is really sweet, um, which is there. And I'm so excited to try this. The notes all sound up my street. I'm going to quickly read them to you. Top notes, bergamot, black pepper, lemon, orange spices, tarragon. They all sound fantastic. Heart notes, the carnation. Frangipani is my favourite fragrance. Um, frangipani um, floral thing. Um, heliotrope, hyacinth, linden blossom, tuberose, ylang ylang. Tuberose can be a problem for me if it's too strong, so um, we'll see. Um, base notes, balsams, civet, coffee, labdanum. Incense, musks, oak moss, resins, Russian leather, vanilla, vetiver woods. The only thing I might struggle with is if the leather is too noticeable. Apart from that, I'm loving the sound of these notes. I'm really excited. I don't know if I'm going to make this my scent of the day. I'm just going to do some first impressions. If I'm liking it from the opening, I'm going to go for it. Go, go for a full-on wearing. Wear it to work. And uh, I have got a backup here. If I don't love it, then I'm going to go, because the perfume is Shelley Waddington for Civet, and this perfume is from uh, Shelley Waddington's house, and it's uh, Le Nectar d'Iles uh, from On Voyage Perfumes. So, I know, obviously, that's my bottle. I know I really, really love that one. So, it's going to be Civet, or it's going to be Nectar d'Iles. I'm sure they're um, probably worlds apart. So, <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Um, and then I've got a rush off to work, so, you know, shall we just get on with it? I'm going to go here first. Ooh, right, okay. I'm going to let it settle. Oh, I can smell it in the air. Definitely smelling orange. Maybe something a little bit like coffee. It smells good so far, quite sweet. So far, so good. That smells really nice. Definitely, you can you get there. Bergamot is kind of like a well, a bergamot I think is from oranges, isn't it? The peel. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But now I'm getting something coming through. That is a little bit musky. Kind of, you know, you get. Um, this is a smell I really enjoy. The smell of an old library or. Um, Imagine a really posh manor house, really posh, big British manor house, and there's an old man, and he's got his favourite room, and it's got oh, like he's got these great old books on the shelves, and he's got um, a proper old-fashioned tin of uh, his tobacco. It's got that kind of musty old feel, but not in a bad way, if that makes any sense. I can totally see why people would say it's uh, got retro vibes. It's definitely got a sweetness, but it's not really, really sweet. It's just got enough sweetness that it's pleasing me. In these days, I like a li I always like sweetness, but I used to like my sweetness up here, and now I prefer my sweetness more down here. And this is kind of where this is at. So, what am I going to wear? How much do I like Civet? Am I going to go for my favourite from the House of Bon Voyage, Nectar de Eels, which is a beautiful white floral, tropical, holiday kind of smell, or do I go with Civet? Guess what? I'm totally going with Civet. So I understand these are pretty strong. I don't know if I need to do two of these up here. But you know, I think go home or go hard. So I'll do one in here, and I'm just going to do one on one wrist and lightly transfer it over to the other, obviously without rubbing, because we all know that is a cardinal sin. So, yeah, so far so good. Um, really, really like it on first impressions. It may, after I've had a chance to properly examine it and see what I think, it may even overtake Nightingale as my favourite, but they are on completely separate uh, levels. Um, anyway, I've got to go to work, and I hope you enjoyed my first impressions. Sorry it's a bit rushed, but you know, I've got 
do a fucking day's job on you. Um, anyway, I definitely will be coming back to review this one properly, maybe even with a special guest. Bye, everyone.